All right, what's going on, everyone? Chris Chess Sports Cards here. Welcome to another fun Saturday night. We are doing 2022 Platinum Tops Chrome Platinum Light Hobby Six Box Break Number 15. This is a case that's literally been sitting in my uh, in my closet for like a year. <laughs> I actually forgot it was there. Uh, so I thought, what the hell? Well, uh, let's see if people want it. We'll open and see what we can find. Maybe they've been, been marinating. It, to its peak freshness, possibly. Let's see. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Especially if you're new to the channel, welcome. A bit about us. We've been around for over six years now. We break mostly baseball. We ship all cards from every break. We're very generous with top loading. We ship as quickly as our little hands will move. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We do free breaks. We use our subscriber list from YouTube for the random. So if you want a chance to get in a future free break, just hit the old subscribe button there eBay continues to run their sweepstakes. No purchase necessary there. Go to any of our eBay listings. Look in the description at the very top. You'll see a link there. Click on that. Follow what it says, and you can win some free cards. And then finally, ChefSportsCards.com, our pride and joy, our website over there. We've got a bunch of breaks. We actually sold out a bunch today. Um, so heritage 129 and 130 i know some of you are going to be tomorrow night at eight and nine o'clock respectively and we also sold out the big league blaster 127 uh we're probably gonna do that one on monday so i'll send out an email tomorrow with dates and times and everything for all those website breaks all right let's go over the teams uh d-backs lou b brave spencer s orioles justin r red sox spencer s cubs chris l white sox Ullman a uh, Reds, Paul B. Guardians, uh, Ullman A. Uh, Rockies, Paul B. Tigers, Spencer S. Royals, Paul B. Astros, Kevin H. Angels, Brett H. Dodgers, Todd D. Brewers, Spencer S. Twins, Jacob C. Uh, Marlins, Lou B. Mets, Jeff B. Yankees and A's, Paul B. Phillies, Justin R. Pirates, Ray F. Cardinals, Michael K. Padres, Jeff B. Mariners, Jeremy P. Rangers, Nick W., and Blue Jays, Spencer S. All right. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've opened this. I hope I remember everything that's in here. Let's open some cards. Good luck, everybody. All Let's do it. Oh, now I'm starting to remember. <laughs> it's weird the way it's done. Uh, Trevor Rogers for a Miami. Uh, 189 of 299. Jeets, Stewart, and Molina. Uh, Miami is Lou. You kind of remember they were odd in the past, like flipped in different ways. Yeah. Uh, like that. Uh, Willie McCovey, Glenn Otto. There's a Willie Adamas for the Brewers on the black and white. Black and white mini diamond. Lamont Wade Jr. Full host. Uh, Vladdy, Greg Beachman. I don't know why they would do it like that. All flipped all over the place. Mookie. Uh, Jesse Winker, Refractor. Danny Ramirez. Uh, Eli Morgan, uh, Joe Perez, Rookie Refractor for Houston, Mark Burley and Bregman, mm, let's see, Edgar Martinez, Brandon Lau, Hans Cruz for the Phillies Rookie, numbered 62 of 199, and CeCe Sabathia. 
these were cool designs on these the because it's got like the players i forget what they called them um i know it had a weird name i don't think i've seen them use it in anything else though old sparky anderson uh falafel Geraldus chapman black and white mini diamond bob gibson Buster Posey, Steve Garvey, Alan Trammell. All right, Longoria. It's a David Ortiz refractor for Boston. Rice and Cronenworth. Andrew Vaughn, Grinky, Al Newhauser for Detroit for Spencer, Bieber. Stremsky and Kutch, black and white for the Brew Crew uh, for Spencer. Edward Cabrera, rookie. Reese Gill, rookie. Oh, look at that. Wow. I <laughs> love it, man. Who's got the White Sox? Almond. That's awesome. Jose Abreu. Autograph. Uh, numbered 12 of 15. Nice. Something on his sleeve here. It's weird. It was unexpected. Ugh. There we go. Jose Abreu Auto on the White Sox. Twelve of fifteen. Very cool. Cabrera and Thompson. Ah, uh, Bobby Witt rookie. There we go. Get a couple of those. Uh, Larry Walker refractor. Matt Sui and Larry Walker again. Nice colored Bobby Witt or Hawk or Auto would be nice there. One of those. I forgot he was in here. Kirby Puckett for the 20s. For Jacob. Numbered 151 of 299. Menez, Marquez, Ryan. These aren't really nice cards. I forgot actually how nice these are. That's why I'm talking. There's like no one here. <laughs> uh, Lopez, Gary Sheffield for Miami. For Lou B. Welker, rookie, and Jackie Bradley. Whatever happened to Welker? Didn't he go to like San Francisco or something? Another prospect from the Rockies that didn't work out. They have a lot of prospects that don't work out. Uh, Chris Taylor. On the X Fractor for the Doyers, Bobby Ray and Emmanuel Rivera rookie. Uh, Dodgers is Todd. Todd D. All right, box number two. Now it's coming back to me. <laughs> I'm remembering what's in this. <laughs> I do not understand how they've done these cards. All right, Delgado, Newhauser, Jason Hayward for the Cubs, and Kenta Maeda 
Hayward's 204 of 299. For Chris, Chris L. On Santo, Ian Happ for the Cubbies again. Joe Adele and Dylan Carlson. That isn't Dylan Carlson's rookie card. Miranda, uh, Carson Kelly, Ripken. Uh, Bruhan rookie, Tampa Bay. Uh, Willie McCovey refractor for San Francisco. Bender and Javi Baez. <clears throat> uh, Ted Simmons for the Cardinals. Ryan Howard and Pache. Bon gone. Uh, Ted Simmons is 160 of 299 for Michael. There's a nice C.J. Abrams rookie. Zerpa and Morneau for the Padres for Jeff. Uh, Matt Brash, Rosarena, Seaver, and Crawford. Uh, Correa, Jeff Bagwell, Refractor for Houston, Major and Story. Bill Rizzuto from the Money Store. <laughs> uh, for the Yanks, Black and White Mini Diamond. That's a joke for some of the older people around here. <laughs> you Darvish for San Diego. Sale and Tyler Gilbert, rookie. What's up, Jake? How you doing, buddy? Schwaba. Barry Larkin, Willie Mays, and Dale Murphy. D-Train, uh, Tony Oliva Refractor for the 20s. Mm -hmm. Ralph Kiner for the Pirates. Uh, for Ray, number 35 of 250. Hey, everyone's favorite, Wander Franco rookie. Wow, there's a time when that spot would tell you, you know, the Rays didn't even sell. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if a year ago I said, like, the Tampa Bay Rays weren't going to sell in this? Amazing. <laughs> good, buddy. Nice. Good to hear it. Uh, Lee Smith, black and white. Yvonne Castillo. Multi and Johnny Damon X Fractor for Kansas City. Uh, for Paul. Uh, Damon and Roberto Clemente Refractor. 
snow and strawberry. <laughs> Box number three. microphone on that all right good luck everybody let's see here all right jack morris viola tory hunter for the 20s and aaron judge on the back uh hunter 133 of 299 I saw this great thing on Instagram. <laughs> Some things strike me as funny sometimes. It said, uh, I'm sure other people, I'm sure other, you other guys saw too. Josh Lowe, a rookie, black and white. Um, <laughs> it said, like, why is everyone so worried about Otani and his $14 million when Javi Baez is stealing $140 million from the Tigers? <laughs> Uh, he's been terrible. Uh, Austin Riley, Jordan, and Kiner. Uh, Luke Williams, rookie. Paul Canerco, refractor. Jake Meyer and Verdugo. Yeah, yeah. I had I have a couple things, but I never really invested that much either, thank God. Uh Teoscar Hernandez. I just feel bad for the people that did. You know, I mean, how are they supposed to know that's you know, you you're not. I mean uh one fifteen of two fifty. It's kind of one of those things in the hobby where it's uh you know. What do they call that? I'm trying to think of the uh what they call it, like a um Something you should remember, and in, 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 it's something you should remember later, before you invest huge amounts of money in someone. <laughs> you know, you don't really know them or what they're up to. Jason Hayward, black and white. I saw this poor guy right when the news first hit of Wander. He posted this thing. I think it was on Facebook where I saw it. He had just bought like an entire collection from someone for like thirty thousand dollars. It was, I mean, it was insane, this collection. It was a whole bunch of first wanders, all different parallels. Yeah, like, I mean, it was really an impressive. And I mean, honestly, based on what things were somewhere, it was probably worth about 50 the day before that happened. And the guy, of course, thought, well, I'm going to hold this and get rich off it one day. And then, you know, like two weeks after he bought it is when that all went down. There's a nice Jeremy Pena rookie refractor. Um, like that's just, I kind of feel the same way with with um, with football players. Like, I love to collect cards. I've been doing mo it most of my life, and I am more than happy to have a few cards of different guys, even some really nice ones. Uh, Stan usual for the Cardinals to one hundred eight of one hundred. Jake Berger rookie, but like I I would see these guys like I think about. Um, you know, the, that whole class with uh, T-Law and uh, Mac Jones and uh, the kid in San Francisco who's not playing anymore. Like, the amount of money that was being invested in those guys and all of them, other than T-Law, are pretty much done. <laughs> Brian Anderson, black and white. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand everybody wants to find the next Brady or Trout or... And, look, it's part of the reason why we're in this hobby. I know that. but like. 
I would never blindly sit down hundreds of thousands of dollars on a player on his prospects. A couple cards maybe, but I don't know. Sold some Wanders among other stuff and regretted it at first. Oh, yeah. I sold some Wanders that I'm so happy I sold. Honestly, sometimes, especially with some baseball players, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, there's stuff I hold on to that's just for my personal collection. Uh, Gene Carlo Stanton Refractor. And, you know, if one day it's worth a ton of money, well, then my son can sell it one day. You know what I mean? But I don't really have any intention of selling them anyway. So, I mean, I'm not saying there wouldn't be a certain situation where if I needed to or whatever, but a lot of times... I get a few cards of someone, and that's it. Anything else I get after that, I sell. You know, I don't need the, that much stuff of one guy in my collection, to be honest. Uh, Chris Taylor for the Dodgers. 289 of 299. You look at those football players. Like, we pulled, we pulled a Mac Jones out of, uh, like, um, Patch Auto out of Prism when it first came out. And, and that dude sold that card for like twelve or thirteen thousand dollars. Thank God he did, because it's honestly like you could buy it for like a hundred bucks now. Or I don't know how much you really could, but Joey Bart for the Giants. But uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I like I said, everybody wants to have the next uh, next big thing. But Carlos Correa X Fractor. was Mr. Irrelevant. He wasn't in that class. You're talking about Brock Purdy? That wasn't the same class, was it? I thought Brock Purdy was the year after. It's amazing how one class, when it comes to football quarterbacks, can be so good. Uh, Matt Verling, rookie refractor, and then the next class, who supposedly has all this talent, and, uh, you know, can be so bad. I mean, T-Law's done okay. He's been up and down. The rest of them have been... But if you take the year before, you know, you have the five top guys who are taken. Two of them have been to Super Bowls already. Uh, the other three are very good. You know, like, it's just amazing how some can work and some can't. Am I wrong on that? I thought I thought Purdy was the year after them. Am I? Am I wrong about that? It's possible I am. I don't know. And look, you look at last year, I and mean, CJ Stroud did well, the rest of them, nothing. I mean, wait. Ryan Valade, a rookie for the Rockies, for Paul B, the 250. E-Train Seaver, J.P. Crawford. Yeah. Oh, we all have those stories. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> Cal Raleigh, rookie, black and white uh, for Jeremy. Yeah, I, it's unfortunate. Everybody's got cards they sold that they're like, oh, what was I thinking? But for as many of those as you have, you have many more. Thank God I sold it when I did, you know? Chapman and Will. I, I actually have quite a few cards from last year's rookies. <laughs> Some really, really nice that, you know, I'm thinking like, I might want to get rid of these. <laughs> Carson Kelly. Uh, Mitch Moreland Refractor. Tyler Gilbert. Well, there's a difference. It also depends upon what you're... What is that? Chaz McCormick, rookie. Good for him. Two of 50 gold. That's a cool one. That's that crazy design again. I can't remember the name of. That is a really nice looking card. It's Houston. Kevin. That thing's awesome, man. Congrats. 
I don't know how McCormick's doing this year. I haven't really paid attention, but I mean, he was killing it last year. I know uh, Astros haven't had a very hot start this year. And Don Drysdale, black and white. Yeah, I thought Pretty was the year after. Still, he's better than all those guys from 2021. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, and there's Wander again. <laughs> you know, like I said, maybe if he ever gets his, his life cleaned up and straightened out, he can go play in the KBO and we can sell all our Wander cards to the Koreans one day or something. <laughs> Try to make a few dollars back. Uh, Kyle Tucker, Refractor. Mm. Nolan Arenado for the Cardinals. Uh, 89 of 99. For Michael. Correa, Clemente, and Marte. Nico, black and white. Ashe and Juan Gan. Really don't understand what would possess them to pack cards like this in every which direction. <laughs> Yelich Refractor. Uh, Zerpa Rookie. Warren Spawn for the Braves. Just picked up. Uh, 224 of 299. Trey Lance went where? Isn't he the backup in Dallas now or something? I don't know how much of a chance that dude ever really got, but I think he was hurt, right? I don't, I don't know a lot about him other than I know people were ultimately disappointed in him. Uh, Arenado, black and white. Griffin Jacks and Griffin Jacks X Fractor. Uh, Jansen Junk, Josh Donaldson Refractor. Davis and McCovey. Three, two to go. I don't know, maybe he'll maybe he'll get a chance down there and who knows. Be like the be like Kurt Warner. Falafel refractor. You know, raised from the dead at some point. <laughs> I always wonder, I I've talked about this in the past. I always wonder, especially in football. There are so many guys that were highly touted, highly drafted, whatever. They got a few games at some point, didn't play great, and that was it for their career, you know? Like, I, 
I always wonder, like, man, what if that guy got, like, five more games? Maybe, you know, because anytime you hear a football player talk about the difference between college and NFL, they say it's speed is night and day, you know? But, I mean, there's so much money on the line, uh, Adon, black and white, that they just, some guys don't get a chance. And then you get other guys who get a shot and have one or two good games. It's it's kind of like college football. Like, you see it like the Ryan Leaf types, you know, who have one good season. And, you know. Uh, Nick Fortes for Miami on the X Factor. Like, it doesn't take a lot to get into professional sports if you have one good year in college, you know? <laughs> I know Ryan Leaf shot it all up his arm or whatever at some point, but that dude made a few dollars in his day, and he was terrible. Carlos Delgato for the Blue Jays. Uh, for Spencer. Ryan Leaf. They were talking about taking him over Peyton Manning back in the day. Uh, 230 of 299 on the Delgado. Like, <laughs> uh, there are there are and have been guys in sports, football, baseball, basketball, all of them, that you're like, really? Are, like, uh, you know, this guy's terrible. I mean, Ryan Leaf was not a hard one to figure out. He wasn't very good. And like I said, he had a he had one very good year in college. But even in college, he wasn't that great. It's like Ben Simmons as a basketball player. Oh, he's going to be the number one overall pick. He can't even shoot a ball. <laughs> There's an O'Neal Cruz rookie. Uh, Lasorda, Griffey, Brandon Bell. That one I'll never understand. Oh, we're going to draft this kid number one overall. Oh, no, but he can't shoot. At all. He won't even shoot from eight feet. <laughs> uh, Yoni Hernandez, rookie for Arizona. Numbered 63 of 150. For Lou. I know. <laughs> I never really understood that one, but a lot of people believed in Ryan Leaf and he didn't make it very long i remember that <laughs> he was he was gone as quickly as he came uh brandon crawford for the giants black and white Reed logs Ryan mountcastle vado and Adamas. <laughs> Trust the process. <laughs> yeah. Trust the process. I'd love to see someone lay that out on paper and what they actually did and what actually happened. Because <laughs> other than Joel Embiid, I don't see how any of it worked at all. <laughs> and they, they still haven't won anything. <laughs> and they're not as bad as they were. I'll give them that. But other than Embiid and Maxi. I don't know. And like I said, I don't follow it that closely, so. But. Eduardo Rodriguez. Over Jason Tatum. Yeah, they, they made quite a few bad picks. <laughs> quite a few. George Foster Orange for Cincinnati, 22 of 25. For Paul. Stuart Fairchild, Ricky, and Soto back on the Nationals. Markel Fultz. <laughs> uh, Joey Votto, black and white. Bryce, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Hamburgy, Josh Lowe, Kershaw. Uh, Tony Perez, Adam Frazier, Refractor. 
Bomb and Pozo. All right, box number six. So again, I was talking about earlier, I know some of you weren't here, tomorrow night, um, Heritage 129 and 130 from the website. We'll start at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, and then we're probably, we also have the Big League um, Blaster full. We're probably going to do that Monday night, just for time's sake. But I will send out an email to everyone tomorrow for sure. Uh, Bob Lemon, Reed Detmer's Rookie Refractor for the Angels. Next week, Topps Chrome Black is out. Next week, we'll have full cases of Topps Chrome Black on Friday and Saturday next week. It's a nice Tatis. One, 152 of 250. Harper, Palmer, Grisham. Um. <coughs> Tiro, Tim Raines for the Nationals. Chaz McCormick, rookie. It's all you can ask for, my friend, to stay busy. Griffin Jacks, Contreras, Thompson, Bill Rizzuto. Frank Thomas, uh, Thurman Munson Refractor, Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals, uh, eight of two ninety nine on the Ozzie Smith. Uh, for Michael. Uh, Dave Winfield, black and white. Oh, I understand, man. You don't have to buy into breaks to hang out, dude. Come by and hang out anytime. There's no rule that says you can't hang out and not be in the breaks, my friend. Uh, Pee Wee Reese. Don't spend money you don't have. I'll be the very first person to tell you that. Chavez Brandish. Felix Hernandez. Foster, Kike Hernandez, Zach Short, rookie for Detroit. Uh, 142 of 199 for Spencer. Believe me, man, I don't. I have no problem. I'd love everyone just to, if you can't get in the break, you hang out anyway. Chit chat and have a good time. Uh, Kirilov, black and white for the 20s. Uh, Chris Bryant, India, Pudge, and Ernie Banks. Last couple packs. Peralta. The Oscar Hernandez refractor. Fairchild and Lou Brock.
Gavin Sheets rookie refract. Berger, Horner, and Lewis. Sean Murphy on the black and white. Strider rookie. And Keith Hernandez. The last pack. Nick Lodolo and Pudge on the x rack Alec Baum and Jack Flaherty. All righty, folks. I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. As always, I couldn't do this without y'all, and I do appreciate it. If you're not in any of our other breaks tonight, please stay safe, stay healthy out there. Bear with me for a second while I put a quick hit recap together. A lot of, a lot of parallels. Realize how many different parallels they have to this one. All right, I'm trying to get them in some semblance of order. All right, hit recap for 2022 Platinum Light Hobby Six Box Break at number 15. A couple rookies I pulled out. We did have a Bobby Witt and an O'Neill Cruz. There's also a um, uh, J Rod in the pile there. I forgot to put them aside. Uh, these are all refractors. I'm not going to go through them all. Just we'll pull out the rookies and the good guys and make sure they're taken care of. Okay. We did have a couple of Wander Franco rookies. <laughs> I can spread them around if you guys like. Um, all right, black and whites. Murphy, Kirilov, Winfield, Reigns, Votto, Crawford. Uh, Williams, Adon, Arenado, Horner, Drysdale, Raleigh, Bart, Anderson, Haywood, Lowe. Uh, Smith, Darvish, Abrams, uh, Hap, Sheffield, Kutch, Chapman and Willie Adamas. Those were all the black and whites. Numbered parallels. That's a ton of them. Well, non-numbered X Fractors. We had Taylor, Damon, Correa, Cortez, Jax, and Pudge. All right. Number to 299. Rogers, Puckett, Hayward. Simmons, Hunter, Spawn, Delgado, and Smith. And a Chris Taylor also. Stan Musial to 100. Hans Kroos. Uh, rookie to 199. And Zach Short, rookie to 199. Let's see. Ralph Kiner, Teoscar Hernandez, Ryan Velade, and Fernando Tatis, all to 250. Yoni Hernandez and Phil Rizzuto to 150. Nolan Arenado to 99. Al Newhauser to 75. Chaz McCormick to 50, George Foster to 25, and we did have one auto, the Jose Abreu 12 of 15 for the White Sox. All right, folks, again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see each other, see everyone again very soon. Have a safe and healthy night, and I'll see you.
be back in five with Elite Extra Edition.